I finally got my EasyCap video capture dongle thingy to work on my computer. I've been looking for information about it online for some days, but instead of information on how to do it, I just found more people asking how to do it. Personally, my problem with it was that the driver's CD that came with it when it was new, well, exactly, that's a CD. And these days, very few computers and uh, basically no laptops even have a CD-ROM drive anymore. So it's very difficult to get your computer to actually recognize it and get it to work. Let me show you how. Of course, what you need to do is find an open USB port, plug in your easy cap, and the green light went on there. By the way, I'm using a powered USB hub in my laptop. I don't know if a USB without its dedicated power supply will also work. If it does, it does. If it doesn't, try a powered USB hub to make sure all your devices have enough power to work properly. And of course, to your EasyCap device, you connect your VCR, the sound, and uh, this one is plugged into the S video. You can of course also use this R RCA video pluggy, but the S video is better quality. And then this goes out to your VCR. Of course, as for the software to work it with, uh, a lot of people recommend OBS Studio. That's not difficult to find. You find it online, install it on your computer. Does OBS Studio really work with it? Yes, it does, but it will not work if the right drivers aren't installed. Where to find the drivers? They seem to be scarce as chicken teeth, but they are available. Here they are. Just a quick note, this is not my site. I did not upload these drivers. I'm gonna naively assume that whoever uploaded them did so in good faith to help people and not spread viruses. But uh, yeah, just do note that uh, this isn't my site. I didn't do it. I'm just using them, assuming that they have not been tampered with with malicious intent. Here they are. They are on github.com Samuel Carrera. EasyCap SM USB 007, Windows 10 X64 drivers, Blob Master, EasyCap SM USB 007, Windows 10 X64 drivers.zip. Yes, it says they are for Windows 10, but they do also work on Windows 11. There they are. You can just go to download there extract them because it's a zip file and now what you're gonna do is on your taskbar you go to device manager yeah and then it will give it to you in the list you go to device manager and in device manager you're gonna find your easy cap under other devices you'll see it has an exclamation mark inside a yellow triangle that means the drivers are faulty it's SMUSB 007007 is it's what it's called there so you right click on that and say update driver and ideally you can now browse your computer for drivers and just uh, select where you saved the extracted note the extracted drivers that you downloaded but now here's another kicker if you're working on windows 11 it's not gonna work what you need to do first is on your taskbar type, type in core isolation then it'll give you the best match is core isolation select it and now you're gonna find there is a setting memory integrity prevents attacks and so on and so forth it's on you need to switch that off yes you want to the app to make the changes and once you are sure it's off you will have to restart your computer so restart it now once your system is restarted just try to update the drivers again i'll admit here something happened uh, that i didn't quite follow at first i thought it's still not installing and then somehow i got to this page if you can't find it at first, just close the windows you're on and see if maybe there isn't another pop-up that has it. Would you like to install the software so magic and so on video and game controller? When I installed that, then it worked. Now it's listed in device manager under sound video and game controllers as SMI grabber device. If you right click on it, there you can see the driver details and whatnot. Okay, so we're finally ready to capture. 
Now let's press play on our VCR. Make sure you have a tape in there and press play. And now we start OBS Studio. Now you'll see here in the bottom where it says sources, uh, you press the plus. Plus and you select video capture device. Okay, it says video capture device. Say okay. Now it's giving us, yeah, there you must select the device. It says integrated webcam. Yeah, this is the SMI grabber device. And okay. All right, there we have something in the video. Of course, now what we're gonna do is we got this video capture device selected. We go to settings. This window opens. And now we just need to get the settings right to get the video to play there. Configure video. Another thing opens. This video that's playing, I know what will work there is PAL I. Yeah, you must just select the right video standard for you. I press apply. Let me just see what's that video proc amp. Oh yeah, here you can set the brightness and contrast and whatnot. But all right, let's first get the signal right. Uh, I have the right input now. You can see there is my, on the video capture device, the sound is working. But why we're not getting a picture is because it's working from the RCA plugin. We need to select the S video. Let me just see. Configure crossbar. I think that's where it is. Yes, that's where it is. Input. It's not the composite video for me. It is the S video. And I apply. And immediately you see there's a video playing now. Press OK, and now that we actually got video playing there, we can uh, configure video again. Let me just go there, video proc amp. You see here, we can now change the brightness, make it a little bit darker, contrast up, actually down. I want it down, saturation up or down, and sharpness. and so on and so forth. Once you've got an image you're happy with, press apply and OK. Yeah, there we got our video playing now. Uh, now, OK, let's press OK. Right, now you see there it is. Uh, to get it this exact size, what you might need to do is to right click on the image itself, then you say, let me just see, uh, Somewhere here, you must size your uh, broadcasting window. That's this. See this all window in the background? That is your, well, your live stream, so to speak. That's what OBS is usually used for. And that can be any size. And then you can resize with this, this red thing. You can resize it to fit into that. For example, say this was HD or 4K, but obviously your SVHS video is not that, then uh, you can scale it up. But now I want it to be the exact same size as this video source. So that is also somewhere here. Preview, oh there, is it scaled to window? I don't know, you must just play around with this a bit until you get the right thing that will make your project uh, window this exact size as the video that's playing. Uh, another thing I just also want to say is, uh, I don't know if you can see here, but whenever there's motion on a f a f interlaced video, there's sort of stripiness there every time they move. Because you first see the one field's uh, video resolution and then the other field, yeah. Those who know how it works will know why that is. Uh, now to improve that, you can of course do that afterwards in your editing program, but we're gonna do it here now. So we click on this window until it's red. Then we got this long menu here. You see here we have deinterlacing. 
There's some stuff you can try, some look terrible and some look good. I think blend looks best. See, I put it on blend now. The fields, yeah, you see. Now it's sort of blended, the fields, yeah. But anyway, yeah, you can try some of the other uh, uh, deinterlacing settings, see what works for you. And once you got it right, you come here to Control, start streaming, start recording. That's what you want. Recording. You might want to go into settings first. Then it opens another window here. Uh, what do we want? Yeah, just go through all the settings here. I think output. There's some stuff you might want to change if you want to. Video. Base canvas, yeah, it's now on 720 by 5, 2, 576. That's the video that's playing now. Of course, the frame rate is 50. Actually, it can be 25. 25, but it has 50 fields. Okay, and apply. Let's just see some more stuff here. What's advanced? Well, yeah, you can go through all that. Get your settings right. Basically, the purpose of this video you're watching was to get your uh, easy cap grabber working, and it is now. Let's just do one. Let's say start recording. And it takes a few seconds. Where does it show again? I think in the bottom. And it started recording, yeah. Oh, you know what we should have done is to just get the set the. Uh, folder where it must record in. Where do we do that again? Was it in settings? Oh yes, it was here. You see output in your settings menu. You go to recording. There's the recording path. You must just get that right. And uh, yeah, here is also recording quality and the recording format and all, all such thing. Yeah, must just get that right. And you can say okay. Yeah, of course while you're working on this, you only want this to capture the sound from that. Remember, this is actually streaming software. So if you have a microphone working, it's also gonna pick up the sounds in the room. So you must mute it there. Now it's on and it will record also and now it's off. Also this, what is this desktop audio? Yeah, you want everything off except your video capture device. What is this settings? Yeah, some more settings. Oh, audio monitoring, yeah. If you want to hear the sound you're recording right now, obviously your video capture device, you want the monitor to be on. Yeah, there you can hear the sound now. And to stop recording, you just stop recording. Of course, also press stop on your VCR. And now let's just check our file. Yeah, here's the video we just recorded. Yeah, there we go. Alrighty. Yeah, playing fine. There's something a bit off about the frame rate. But of course, yeah, now I can just fix those settings, play around with the settings until I get the image as I want it. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you also get your easy cap dongle thingy to work. If you don't or if you happen to catch that there are viruses in those driver files, please come tell us in the comments immediately so other people don't also get infected with it. So far everything seems okay, but uh, that thing about the memory integrity that you had to switch off I'm not sure I trust that so much, but uh, yeah, it seems you need to do that if you want your easy cap to work on your computer. So come let us know immediately if something is off about it and you run into problems. Now, hit the like button and the subscribe if you're not subscribed and we'll chat about more stuff on Stuff Chat. Yeah, baby. Yeah.